Hi, Stefan Sartling here from Sartling Network. Today a new really cool app for iOS was released. It's called SwiftKey Note, and yes, it's SwiftKey for iOS. But it's only available in one app, and that is SwiftKey Note. But uh, it's very useful anyway, because uh, SwiftKey Note syncs with Evernote, so you can use it for everything you type and all notes you do in Evernote, so it's pretty cool. And it syncs with all your notebooks and everything. And it creates a new notebook called SwiftKey Notes if you want to store all your SwiftKey Notes in that notebook. But you can choose which notebook you want from your Evernote account to save these notes in. But only the notes that you tag with the word SwiftKey will be available in this app. But uh, it syncs with Evernote so you can get them from uh, all your Evernote apps. Uh, all your Evernote devices and so on. So it's really cool. Um, here we have a uh, note that I have typed on both uh, my iPhone and iPad. This app is available for both iPhone and iPad and it's free at the moment. The app doesn't have so many features yet so I think it will cost uh, some money when they have added more languages for example and flow, you know the swipe thing. It's not available in this version, so you only have your uh, predictive typing predictions in this version. But the predictions works really great because uh, it learns from all your Evernote nodes. That's pretty cool. So if you have a lot of Evernote nodes, uh, your predictions will be awesome. So if we, for example, edit this note, uh, we go down here and type this. As you can see, the prediction for this was there already. Is a test of SwiftKey Note. As you can see, I didn't type any of these words. All these was predictions. So uh, I, I love this prediction. This really fast way of typing. Uh, it works really good on uh, iOS. I'm very surprised that it's that it so good as it is. I like it a lot. So it works on both iPhone and iPad. You see that? Really, really great. The predictions is awesome. So that was the predictions. It works really great. And uh, the set things looks like this. You go down here and uh, my Evernote account and you have the languages here. As you can see, not many languages yet. SwiftKey for Android has 63 languages, I think. So uh, hopefully they will add this later on, more languages, because my language, Swedish, for example, is not available. The advanced settings look like this. Spacebar and uh, auto capitalize and so on. And uh, you have usage here. So the same as on the in the Android version, you can see how much you have saved and so on by using SwiftKey Note. Uh, here you have all your notes that you create in SwiftKey Note. Here you have your Evernote notebooks, and as you can see, you can see uh, the notes in the notebooks because. Um, you haven't created any notes with the tag SwiftKey yet. So uh, when you do that, uh, you will see those notes in these notebooks too, if you want. Or you use the default notebook called SwiftKey Notes, and then you get the notes here. So pretty cool. And you have all your tags here and so on. So uh, everything from Evernote. I like this a lot. It's uh, really great. So go check this out. Uh, it's available for free for both iPhone and iPad. Do that. I highly recommend it.